Hello everyone, this is Kishan Jain. I'm a PhD candidate at Material Science and Engineering Department of University of North Texas. Uh, I'm pursuing my PhD under the guidance of Professor Anupama Kaur. I'm here to present my results on photoconductive enhancement in MOS2 and WS2 aided by light absorbing carbon based 0D quantum dots. We would like to thank IEEE Sensor Organizing Committee for providing us with an opportunity to share our exciting results in this esteemed platform. Before I start discussing the results that I'm presenting here today, I wanted to showcase a few of our peer-reviewed publications. Here at NMDL, we work on a wide array of materials ranging from 2D perovskite to 3D perovskite system hexagonal boron nitride, black phosphorus, and a wide array of transition metal dichalcogenides. And these materials are either processed using additively manufactured inkjet printing process to chemical vapor deposition process. Here I'm showcasing one of our recent publication in NPG 2D materials and applications where we focused on designing contacts for 2D perovskite system. Another recent publication is showcased here. Uh, we again worked on 2D perovskite system that was additively manufactured through inkjet processing system. And we focused uh, the application of such novel device architecture in photo detection applications. We used liquid exfoliation technique uh, combined with inkjet printing to also process a variety of transition metal dichalcogenates and novel materials like black phosphorus. Our two such publications are showcased up here. Our additive manufacturing capability combined with inkjet printing also allows us to print heterostructures, printing on flexible substrates, and also additive manufacturing has been used to integrate TMDC with soft materials like polymers uh, for future of wearable electronics. And such publications are showcased up here. In addition to liquid exfoliation of 2D materials and inkjet printing, we also work on chemical vapor deposition systems to process very novel and very high quality transition like alkogenate. Uh, layers and one such uh, article is placed here. Uh, our recent publication showcased a WSC2 synthesis using halide assisted low pressure chemical vapor deposition growth and also quantum multibody interaction between 2D layer WSC2 and the substrates. Here at NMDL, we also focus on Van der Waals heterostructures, particularly the zero dimensional, two dimensional system to engineer desired optoelectronic electronic properties. Uh, here I'm showcasing one such publication uh, which came out in 2019 in uh, ACS Applied Materials Interfaces, where we combine graphene with C60 molecules to unlock an amazing photo detector figures of merit. Continuing the trend that was set in the previous slide, we recently worked on a graphene and carbon cage endohedral based hybrid system, which have yet again revealed ensuing photo detector figures of merit. I'm showcasing the, the publication here, uh, which was published in 2020 in Journal of Material Chemistry C. Moving on, before I start discussing the results here, uh, I wanted to start discussing the advantages and limitations of bare transition metal dichalcogenides, especially for photo detection application. The advantages are that uh, the uh, TMDCs show a transition from indirect band gap to a direct band gap approaching monolayer limit, which uh, is favorable for photo detection application. They are also reported to have high photoluminescence and quantum yield. However, moving on to the limitation, they show a lower ability to control the polarity of electrical conduction, low photo excited charge carrier lifetime and fast recombination. 
Moreover, atomic lithium thin materials have lower ability to um, absorb and emit radiation because of their low cross-sectional area, which overall compromises um, the photoresponsivity, which is one of the photodetector figures of merit. Recent trends in publications have indicated that the scientific community is moving on from analyzing the properties of graphene and transition metal like alkachinate by themselves to preparing van der Waals heterostructures uh, assembled in a sequence to engineer desired properties for advanced electronic and optoelectronic materials. In these heterostructures, van der Waals bond glues the adjacent layers together keeping the heterostructures intact. It has also been reported that the van der Waals heterostructure gives us an ability to unlock and analyze many possible collective states in 0D 2D system, 2D 2D system and 2D 3D systems. Some of the quantum effects that is evident at extremely low temperatures in conventional 3D semiconductors is reported to be evident at higher temperatures in these van der Waals heterostructures owing to a very low dielectric screening of these 2D crystallites. Next, we'll discuss our recent result on a mixed uh, dimensional hybrids, GQD, MOS2, WSA2 of C60 to be in particular. The hybrid uh, GQD MOS2 was created by drop casting GQD solution onto MOS2 membrane that was mechanically exfoliated. We performed a Raman spectroscopy to evaluate the phononic behavior of uh, MOS2 GQD and MOS2 GQD hybrids. After the decoration of a GQD, we noticed a blue shift in the E12G and the A1G phonon modes of MOS2, which provides a direct evidence that the GQD molecules are doping MOS2 N type. We also performed a photoluminescence spectroscopy study, which have revealed that uh, the GQD have emission peak centered around 433 nanometers, uh, MOS2's emission peak centered around 690 nanometers, and GQD MOS2 hybrids uh, PL emission peak to be centered around 693 nanometers. The redshift in uh, the PL emission peak after the decoration of uh, the GQD is yet again an evidence for n-type doping of MOS2 by the GQD molecules. Next, we discuss the photodetector figures of merit of GQD MOS2 system. Figure A shown in the slide plots the IV graph of uh, GQD MOS2 uh, and a bare MOS2 in both dark and light conditions. It is evident from figure A shown in this plot that uh, the conductivity of the MOS2 channel increases after the GQD deposition as uh, in both dark and light condition the magnitude of the drain source current is seen to increase at any given bias. Furthermore, figure B plots the photo current as a function of the incident light intensity. It is evident from the figure B shown here that the photo current values from the GQD MOS2 hybrids were much larger uh, than the bare MOS2 devices. From these findings, we can conclude that the hybrid GQD MOS2 devices had a higher photo detection figures of merit compared to the bare MOS2 films. And we, we believe that this comes about because of the n-type doping of the MOS2 films as discussed in the previous slide. Next, we discuss another mixed dimensional hybrid WSC2C60 and its photo detector figures of merit. The hybrid WSC2C60 was fabricated by spin coating C60 molecules in chlorobenzene onto a CVD synthesized monolayer of WSC2. Raman spectroscopy studies have shown that after C60 deposition, both E12G and A1G mode of WSC2 uh, exhibit a blue shift. Such blue shift in the Raman frequency has been reported previously to be associated with a decrease in electron density in WSC2, which is caused by uh, a transfer of electron from WSC2 to C60 and consequent hole doping in WSC2. Furthermore, uh, photoluminescence spectroscopy studies have indicated that the PL emission peak of C60 centered around 751 
and the PL emission peak for monolayer WAC2 to be centered around 7-80 nanometers. After C60 functionalization, uh, the WAC2's PL emission frequency was seen to redshift to 778.2 nanometers and also a reduction in overall photoluminescence intensity can be seen in figure D shown in the slide after C60 functionalization. Such redshift in PL frequency associated, uh, is associated uh, with a decrease in electron density in WAC2, which is a, a consequence of a transfer of electron from WAC2 to C60 molecules. Finally, we discussed WAC2 C60 photodetector figures of merit, which were studied at room temperature under broadband illumination. Figure A shown in the slide compares uh, the IV graphs of WAC2 C60 hybrids, WAC2 bare film under both dark and under optical illumination condition. After C60 deposition, we notice an overall increase in the magnitude of the drain source current in both dark and under illumination condition. The maximum increase in the drain source current after C60 functionalization was found to be in the order of 10 to the power 4 at an applied bias of 30 volts. It is also evident from figure B that photo current increased after C60 functionalization across uh, an array of uh, different light intensities. Finally, based on these results, we conclude that the hybrid WAC2 C60 devices outperform the bare WAC2 device in terms of photo detection figures of merit, which was mostly facilitated by the P-type doping of WAC2 via C60 decoration at tested light intensities. To summarize, we've reported the fabrication of high-performance hybrid photo detectors for broadband detection based on GQD and C60 coupled with MOS2 and WAC2 respectively. The electron and hole doping in MOS2 and WAC2 after decoration with carbon-based 0Ds were studied with Raman and photoluminescence spectroscopy techniques. GQD was found to dope MOS2 with an N-type conduction behavior, while the C60 was found to dope WAC2 with a P-type conduction behavior. The photo response of GQD, MOS2 and C60 WAC2 hybrids we have studied under broadband illumination and reveals a stark increase in photo detector figures of merit when compared to the photo response of the bare MOS2 and WSC2. Finally, this work will provide an effective approach to enrich material selection and broaden their device applications in optoelectronics. We would like to thank Air Force Office of Scientific Research, NSF, University of North Texas, and PACAR Institute of Technology for their uh, funding which has enabled us to perform high quality research. I would also like to acknowledge and thank my colleagues at uh, NMDL and thank you very much for your undivided attention through this presentation.